Hey everybody, today we're going to be checking out a really interesting and unique abandoned location. This right behind me that looks like a giant metal light bulb, it's known as the Westinghouse Atom Smasher and it was the first Van der Graaff electrical generator ever built. So it's here behind a fence and I, I don't know if I'll be able to get too close to it. But I'll give you the best look that I can give you. That is wild! That looks like something out of like a post-apocalyptic science fiction movie or a Fallout video game or something like that. It's hard to even fathom that this is actually something real we're looking at right now. And I hope I can kind of give you just an idea of how massive this thing is. I mean, I looked up pictures and it, it did not look this big. So I'm going to do my best to explain to you what this is. Um, I'm not a nuclear scientist, so it's um, kind of a complicated thing, but I'll, I'll do my best. What this was is an electrostatic nuclear accelerator, and it was able to generate uh, static electricity at a really high speed, and they were able to use it for research in different like um, nuclear science applications. Um, I think it was used for fission of uranium and thorium, um, again, not sure I fully understand what all that does, but basically it was used in scientific research um, back in the 30s and 40s, and it was part of a larger building, and I think eventually the building was torn down, and it's just been sitting here in this vacant lot, and there, I believe there are efforts to restore it for historical purposes, but for right now it's just um, kind of sitting here looking like something out of the apocalypse. Pretty wild, pretty amazing though. Yeah, and this sign gives us a little more information about it. The Westinghouse Atom Smasher, first Van der Graaff generator created in 1937, and it was used for experiments with atomic energy. So now it's just sitting here in this vacant lot right across from this row of houses. Could you imagine looking out your window every morning and seeing this? A giant, abandoned atom smasher. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I'd feel about it. I guess after a while you'd just get used to it. And here we can see the old sign for it with the old Westinghouse logo on it. Okay, so I was able to get closer. Let's get a close look at this thing. I have never felt something so otherworldly. Uh, this really feels like something out of a science fiction movie. It really doesn't feel like it's real that I'm here with this atomic, massive atomic light bulb right in front of me, you know? It's really bizarre. Let's see what's inside of this thing. So it looks like some kind of um, broken ceramic insulation. Oh wow. It is just full of cables and coils and all sorts of things. Oh, that is insane. Wow. So it looks like there was quite a large facility here that's been torn down at this point. We can still see foundation. And lots of rubble. It's just incredible to see how massive something like this is. And this was used to make nuclear energy. It's just hard to fathom this. So thank you for joining me to check out the Westinghouse Atom Smasher. Really amazing, cool, uh, abandoned oddity. Um, and like I said, did my best to explain to you what exactly this was and what it was used for. Um, like I said, um, nuclear science is not my strong point. Um, if you want to learn more, 
go watch a video made by a smart person. Um, but anyway, I hope you had fun checking this out with me. Thank you for watching.